Jack, thank you very much for joining me. Carlisle United at the weekend. It's going to be a game against a side that are in fine form as, as much as we are. What are you thinking ahead of this one? I think it'll be a tough game like, uh, like every game in League Two. Um, you know, I think they're a strong side, obviously. Um, the previous times we have played them, they've, they've been tough games. Um, so, yeah, I think you know, we've got to be us and, and start on the front foot. Um, and hopefully, we'll come out with the three points. We come into the game having played late in Orient on Tuesday in a game where you, you look pretty comfortable in position. Were you pleased with how that one went per- personally and as a team? Uh, personally, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't think it was the, the best game I've played. A um, few things I could have tightened up on. Um, so, personally, it wasn't, you know, my, my best game. Um, but as a team, you know, we, we, I thought we were quite solid. We, we, we started on the front foot in the second half. Um, which gave us a good platform um, to kind of end the game with. Um, but yeah, we created chances. We, had, you know, Josh had a good chance. Um, well, on another day, that will kind of go in, and we pick up the three points. I want to talk to you now about Lewis Page, who at the start of the season he was the favoured left-sided player there. But obviously, unfortunately, he's got that injury now, which has given you the chance. Are you quite happy that you've had? To, to battle for a place because I mean he, he's such an experienced player whereas you're sort of in, into your second season Yeah I'm, I'm happy um, you know Matty said um, at the start of pre-season you know he's going to get in another left-sided player uh, similar to my position um, which gave me good competition to try and you know earn a place um, this first game of the season so yeah I think um, obviously he's a quality player um, Proven that this season, one player of the player of the month was it in October. Um, so yeah, I think competition's great. You know, it, it only drives me on. Um, it will probably drive him on as well. Um, and I'm like, well, I say fortunately that that's football. But I mean, you made you made quite a statement against Scunthorpe. He, he was brought off injured. You came on, and within a few minutes, you got an assist to make it two 0 So yeah, it was um, a bit of a lucky assist. The keeper. Has it to me on a plate, but I think I'll claim it. Is that what we can expect from you this season? Is you're going to have the freedom to get forward and play more as a wing back rather than just a defender? Is that something you really look forward to doing? Yeah, I think you know my game's delivery, putting in crosses, trying to get assists. Um, so I get forward as much as I possibly can. Um, but as a defender, and when I'm playing in a four, I think. You know, my my main um, task in the game is to defend and anything that comes on top of that is brilliant. Do you have a preferred style? Do you, do you, do you prefer just being an out-and-out defender or do you prefer more getting forward as, in that wing-back position? Um, I'd say growing up, you know, I had um, I was quite a forward player um, out on the wing, wing-back. Um, it's only in the past, well, since I was on loan at Salisbury, um, the gaffer there played played me, you know, centre half at one point and um left back as well. So I think I learnt a lot um and improved a lot as a player as well when I went on loan there. Um which has, you know, given me the opportunity to be able to play in, you know, two, three, four different positions. I mean I've asked this to most of you guys now this season, but playing behind closed doors, what's that been like for you? Um yeah, it's it's been different. Um it is, there's obviously not a lot of atmosphere at the grounds, um, but for me personally, you know, it's, it's, a, it's another league game. Um, the games that you need to win, and so not much changes in that respect. Um, I still go out every Saturday when I play, Tuesday when I play. Um, you know, as motivated as when we did have fans. And how much does the coronavirus play on your mind? Obviously, having just played Scunthorpe, and they came out with a load of positives. It's difficult, um, you know, I think there was, you know, their game probably against us shouldn't have been played. Um, but yeah, I, I think, you, you know, as long as you're following the guidelines that, you know, the, the medical team have set, um, the FA has set, then really you should be, um, should be okay, as in not to worry about it too much. I think it's a real testament to 
to the Exeter City squad, isn't it? That we, we've had the tests this week come back completely negative. Definitely. I think, you know, that's um, down to Gareth Law and Dan Feasy as well, the medical team, um, you know, making sure, putting, every, putting all these precautions into place um, around the training ground and the ground. Um, you know, so they've been brilliant with it. Um, and obviously the squad's been good with it as well. You know, socially distancing as much as possible, you know, in and around the training ground. Great stuff, Joe. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah, hold well on, mate. Thanks. See you later. Cheers. See you Saturday. Cheers. Bye.